Illustrator now hides a lot of tools by default. So if you can't find the tool I'm about to show you, go up to Window, Toolbars, Advanced. Click and hold on the Line Segment tool and choose the Polar Grid tool. I have a fill of none and a black stroke of one point. Let's click and drag, holding down the Shift key for perfect circles, and this is what we get by default. Now we could start to pick this thing apart, but let's take a little more control when creating it. Let's delete this. Now instead of clicking and dragging, I'm just going to click. In this dialog box, we can take very specific control of what we create. But generally, we really only care about the number of concentric dividers and the number of radial dividers. And we can control both of these via the keyboard when drawing. Let me show you how. Let's click and drag, but don't yet release the mouse. Tap the right arrow to increase the number of radial dividers and the left arrow to reduce them. Let's take this all the way down to zero. Tap the up arrow to increase the number of concentric dividers, let's just call them circles, and tap the down arrow to reduce them. If you need to go crazy, just hold down the arrows instead of tapping them. If you need to move this thing around while creating it, just hold down the spacebar. Holding down the shift key when releasing the mouse for perfect circles, and there we go. What is created will be grouped, likely multiple times. So if you need to pull this thing apart, right mouse click and ungroup it as many times as needed. Quick bonus tip for you. If you like to use the dialog box and you've made a big mess of things, hold down the Alt or the Option key and the Cancel button will turn into a Reset button. I hope that helps. Catch you later.